the first thing I want to say is that it is mid-April and it is horrible out here in the UK. The sun might be on my face, but believe me, it's Baltic conditions. It's blowing a hooli, but we are going to go out there and I'm going to show you PXG's mini driver. But first of all, I need to make a few adjustments. So if you've been keeping your eye on social media, particularly Instagram, then you will have seen a few pictures of a mini driver that is imminent. And it of course comes from TaylorMade, and my feeling is it'll be hugely popular. That is the perfect ball flight of a mini driver. The question is, what is it that makes them so popular? And I've got a big reveal in terms of PXG. But what makes mini drivers so popular and successful in the hands of average golfers? Well, the first thing is they've got the shaft length of a three wood. They've got a head profile, which is generally 275 cc, which is bigger than a three wood, but smaller than a driver and they're generally, again, weaker lofted than you will find in a driver. So for the tailor made in the past two iterations, what we've seen is options in 11 and degrees and 13 and degrees. That means loft is your friend, shorter shaft means greater control, and overall, just a more playable option in terms of driver. But that greater control can often mean more centre strikes, and not a huge loss in terms of distance. And as we've seen with that first tee shot, it produces very similar results in that it is a much more penetrating ball flight than you'd expect to see from a fairway wood, higher launching than what you'd expect to see from a driver. And as I said, doesn't lose out a great deal in terms of distance. And that is another solid strike with my PXG Mini Driver. Get down ball. Let's start off by talking about the full PXG Gen 6 lineup in terms of hybrids through to driver, because they do something that is a very interesting indeed. And that is that they keep the shaping, the head profile, very, very similar indeed, right throughout that range. So your driver and your hybrid have still got exactly the same crown. Visually, they don't change whatsoever. Move that into the fairways, you'll see exactly the same look. Why is that weird? Well, you compare it to other brands and models, and what you'll often see is that the hybrid looks nothing like the driver. Quite often, neither do the fairway woods. And that is a very important part of this story about the PXG mini driver. Now let's be quite honest, we all know the tailor-made mini driver is not really a driver, it's a strong lofted three wood at best with a bigger head profile. Now PXG have got something that in my opinion is maybe the opposite but could easily be described in exactly the same way as their very own mini driver. And the other thing a mini driver offers you, or a D-lofted three wood in this case, is the ability to play the ball from a fairway lie. And not many of us would even attempt that with a driver in hand. And once again, it's a low chaser. It's exactly what you'd expect to see from this type of club, but like I said, We've gained a good couple of hundred yards plus from that shot and one I wouldn't even consider with a driver in my bag. So I'm afraid you're going to see me huddle down in a couple of positions below some gorse to take a bit of cover this morning because it is extremely blustery. Anyway, what's this all about? And we'll, I just want to talk about that fairway wood range of the uh, Gen 6 from PXG. It is without doubt their best range of fairway woods and hybrids for that matter that they've launched to date in my opinion and that's because they tick a number of boxes a term often used but the one thing they create is incredibly fast ball speeds these are without doubt the longest fairway woods i've hit from them but they also launch the ball high they sound and feel really good and in my opinion that crown looks incredibly good and i've said it in other videos possibly the best looking at address on the market right now. 
The final thing to mention is about the price point, and we'll come to that later. But a few days ago, having experienced the fairway woods uh, out on the golf course, I had a little idea, and that was quite simply, can we crank up the loft on the three wood, change it from 15 degrees into 13 and a half degrees, effectively turn it into its own mini driver. So smaller head profile, shorter shaft, still higher launching than your traditional driver maybe and get the ball speeds and the control that we get out of that three wood and that's where we arrived today with a club that to be quite honest with you is outperforming even my expectations when I thought of this little idea in the first place. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Hot Golf, the online golf megastore, bringing you the hottest deals in golf, and of course, the clubs featured in today's video. Find the link to the Hot Golf website in the description below, and check out some incredible giveaways and offers. Before we go any further, a little question for you to get involved in that comment section below. Who of you who have tried a mini driver, maybe got one in the bag from the previous releases from TaylorMade? How many of you have seen this uh, new mini driver, the burner that I think it's going to be called? How many of you have seen images of it so far and are perhaps considering hanging on for the release date and trying that before you make your decision on what driver you buy perhaps this year? Let me know. The one thing you'll notice is that I'm teeing this up higher than I would my three would again just assisting off the tee with that extra bit of height which seems to be really effective and exactly the same in the way in which I would do if I was teeing up a mini driver. And once again it's the greater control for me that is the key with these things. Another great shot with the camera switched on, which is always good to see. But I want to talk about that profile bit that I referred to earlier, about all the PXG lineup in terms of driver through to hybrid looking exactly the same, because that is key to why I'm describing this as a mini driver. Right, time for another little bit of a hunker down behind some gorse and get some cover and uh, my breath at the same time. When you take a look at these profiles, one is the three wood, one is the driver. Now if I was to uh, expand the picture of the three wood, then effectively it would blow up to the same proportions, the same shape, the same profile as the Gen 6 driver. It is in every intents and purposes exactly what you would describe, like I said, as a mini driver. Our ability to adjust that loft and crank it up by one and a half degrees has taken us to 13 and a half which is strong enough and in most cases like i said that extra loft can help a lot of golfers and that is one of the major appeals from taylor maid's mini driver again just referencing that shorter shaft but that profile is key i love what they've done in terms of the shaping in the fairway woods this year for me it's more traditional in its looks um, it's just got visually on the eye at address. It's not too low a profile. It sits really nice. And like I said, it's got a rounded profile that just suits my eye perfect. But obviously that's an aesthetics thing and very much down to the individual. Obviously, as I go on about in every video, that matte crown is also key for me at address, which really also ticks another box. But like I said, could you really do this with other brands and term their three woods uh, mini driver well yeah of course you could um, my thought process was this quite simply that when you go to other brands and maybe put some ideas up in front of you now from a visual perspective their three woods change in terms of their shaping and their look and they become very different from a driver so if we did the same sort of experiments what we'd be looking at is a without doubt a fairway wood rather than a mini driver that's my thought process at least, but the key to all this is just how good the fairway woods are in this Gen 6 lineup. Whichever route you go down, whether you want a strong lofted three wood and turn it into your own mini driver, well that's a, uh, a little experiment let's say. But for me, whichever option you choose, the key is just how good they look in terms of their profile. The ball speeds are exceptional and without doubt these are the best lineup that we've seen in terms of hybrids through to driver 
from PXG so far. That's me done. I don't think I can battle the elements much longer. As bright as it looks, it's Baltic and blowing a hooli. So let me know what your thoughts are on the Mini Driver. I've got one last thought that I wanted to put into you, and that is the price point. I mentioned it very briefly earlier on. The fairy woods are coming at a point that make them, first of all, competitive in terms of any other fairy wood right now, which have become hugely expensive for some reason, just like drivers at the moment. But then compare it to that idea of a mini driver. I don't know what the release price is going to be from TaylorMade, but I suspect that by buying a three wood alternative and cranking it up is also going to be potentially saving you a lot of money. That's one final thought to leave you with. Right. Thanks as ever for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow night, hopefully a little bit warmer.